Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. It's a gloomy, rainy day outside, so that means kit building time. Jonathan Kane sent in a mini microphone kit. You're used to this big honking microphone from the X6100. Now we've got this little tiny one here. You can make it yourself. There will be some links in the description down below where you can find yours, and you can do it a lot easier than the way that I'm about to show you how to do it here. Here's some audio samples of what this thing sounds like. This is 10 watts out of my X6100 into the Northern Utah Web SDR. So from Northwest Wisconsin to the Utah Web SDR. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf testing the new 3D printed perfect mount hand built microphone on the Zygu X6100. I think it sounds pretty good. Let's get over to the workbench, get this thing built. Okay, so we have the 3D printed microphone, oh, it's customized, KM9G, 3D printed microphone case. We have RJ45 Ethernet jack. We have a switch. Oh, there's surface mount components. I see them already, right there. It's like two diodes. And I do not have a surface mount setup. So I'm gonna do this with a regular flat iron. You know what, I'm gonna have to leave those in the bag. Otherwise I won't know what they are. So I guess we'll just keep leaving parts in the bag. Capacitors, 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 capacitors. Lots and lots of capacitors. Hardware to hold the case together. Install backwards. Microphone. And we found that a regular RJ45 ethernet cable works great as your microphone lead. And this is a nice little flat cable that'll do very nicely for portability. We have the GitHub project repo. There's a QR code for you to scan with your phone if you want to. Repo includes KiCad project and all the files needed to have JLC, PCB, fabricate, and assemble the majority of the circuit board for you. And that is true, it will. They'll put all the surface mount components on for you. Okay, mini mic soldering tips by Jonathan Kane, KM4CFT. This comes in the kit, so I'm not going to read this off to you. More heat, less solder, flux is magic, use magnification. Let's get our circuit board out. That's tiny, that's gonna add to the fun. And I need a couple of tools. Okay, for surface mount work, you're gonna need some flux. And I use a pair of hold close tweezers. So these will, as the name implies, hold close. So I don't need to focus on squeezing the ever loving dickens out of <laughs> a thing. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go with the idea that all of these parts are relatively self-explanatory. So this is C1, and C1 is right here on the board. Oh, she's tiny, absolutely tiny. One of the most important things you're gonna have to do when you're working on this kit is not lose parts. And so here's where the hold closed tweezers come into play. It is held closed and it's doing the thing for me. So put that piece down, take our flux pen and put some flux on the board. There's like, there's no writing on this. There's nothing. And so I put flux on the board first. And then I can grab this piece with my hold closed tweezers. and it will attach very easily.
right, there we go. There's our microphone. Perfect.